Hello everyone, and welcome to my LP of Disgaea 2 PC. So, uh, we did Disgaea 5, we did Disgaea 1, and now we're doing Disgaea 2. And maybe it'll be a pattern if 3 ever gets released on PC, along with 4 and D2. So, um, like last time, we're going to do the alternate story path first. Now, the thing about Sky 2 is that the alternate story path, Axel Mode, is actually a prequel to Adele Mode, which is the normal story. So it's almost appropriate to do it first, and it unlocks useful things for the main story that you wouldn't have otherwise. So to unlock it, you do the simple, like, NIS code, where it's triangle, square, circle, triangle, square, circle, start. Showtime. And then you heard Showtime, that's the key. It's time once again for Where's That Demon Now? In today's episode, we'll drop in on the former dark hero. He's been forgotten about for the past four years, and I'm sure you guys don't remember him either. How did this happen to such a big star? Some say the TV executives all decided one day to deny his very existence. Since that day, he's had to sell everything he owns to keep from starving. <laughs> what a complete loser. <clears throat> and I'm here to expose the living death of this once iconic hero. that show about you. Put it back on for your little brothers. But Ma, that show has a reputation of always telling the truth. It sets a bad example to the kids. They should be making things up and telling lies. Well, you are the dark hero. You know all about the entertainment industry. So, how's your show doing? Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's never been better. I'm glad to hear that. Don't worry about the house. I got another job so we could finally get our TV back. Yeah, now we can watch your awesome show anytime we want. I've been looking forward to it all month. My friends say the evil rangers are awesome, but I told them that the dark hero is so much cooler. You tell them, Axial. Your friends will be blown away by my success. <laughs> Anyway, Axel, about the money you send us. Axel, darling! Oh, uh, it looks like my friend Director from Immortal TV Network is here. Oh, you're so busy. Damn, a celebrity like me can't even relax in his own house. I'll be back later. We can talk once I get back. Be careful. Have a safe trip. Good luck, bro! Okay, chapter one, the Evil Rangers. So... Oh... Axel, darling! You still haven't told your family that you've been blacklisted from the industry! Director, can't you come up with a better excuse? Like, I was hiding out from the Mafia. Anyway, you've got some work for me, right? Oh, Axel, darling, you never change. I have two jobs for you. One is a guest appearance on that evil ranger show that's so popular with the kids. The other one is being the host of a travel show. You get to travel to a place called Veldheim! The Evil Rangers? My little bro would be happy to hear about that. All right, I'll, I'll take that one. Hey, dog, you gonna pass up the opportunity to host your own show? Uh, do you want to be forgotten again? Hey, didn't you used to always tell me never to forget my dark hero spirit? 
some lame countryside travel show is too plain for my image. A hero should always act cool, like me, the dark hero. Okay, okay, excellent dog. I'll give you more time to decide. I really want you to be on a show that has an audience over the age of eight. Think about it. Okay, so first of all, let's go into some settings. Um, nope. What? What? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's make voices the most important. Okay, and let's save. Yes. Okay, so, god, I haven't been in this game in so long. So I feel like one of the weird parts about this game oh, is, uh, like right now, accident. <laughs> oh, that's a great name for a baby. Holy crap, that's Axahontas. Uh, Millie, the shallow girl, Richard, former rich. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... Uh, the thing about Axel is he's poor, used to be famous, uh, and just introduced in this game, like, th there's nothing in other, other games that would tell you otherwise. Um, prep and housekeeper, Axrel, and Axial, and the landlord. Hello. Oh, wow, rent for three years. <laughs> These Agras feel cursed. Okay, so... Uh, the hub world for uh, this mode is a lot smaller than the one for Adele mode. That's one of the first differences. And... Um, um, I feel like... Okay, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Acceleration. A little bird told me that Val Diamond is the back of not... Wow. <laughs> People love Unforeshadowed Doubt. Wow, that kid's awesome. Um. Uh. uh oh my. I'm gonna mind buying milk. Um, okay. So, post office. Yeah. So, no crime records. That's an added thing in this game. Where. Um. Where. Basically. You, um. Okay. Uh, you do certain things that like get your stats to a certain point, um, or do other things, and you'll get a felony. Okay. Um, let's... Victoria, Clover, Hannah, Noreen, Stella, Stella, Yvette, Misha, Laverne, Malagrid, Akru, Lorana, Aurelia, Misha, Betty... Oh, you know what? Uh, um, uh, oh god, I'm trying to think of what's what's her name. Ah, yes, that's the name. Okay, so this is weird because the I have to be really careful with the uh, D-pad, or else it'll just like fly. Like that's me holding it. And these are like regular taps. I have to be very short tap if I want to use it. But the um, the analog stick isn't as sensitive. Felt the th uh, the thief girl from uh, Rizio. There. Uh, and you want speed and hit. Or, uh, yeah, speed and hit. I'm gonna put hit up. Uh, yeah, felt has been created. And the nice part about um, Axel mode is everything's unlocked right from the beginning, because this is essentially a mode where you're supposed to do it after the main story, but if you put it in the code, you get it first. And I'm really excited to be playing this game, simply because um, uh, this is the... Uh, I played the second one second, as one would expect you to. Um, and I played it when it was on the PSP.
and this is sort of a part of that, but with uh, updated graphics. And um, I do find it weird how like these graphics, like the overall graphics, are still pretty like old. But then like you'll look at the pictures there, and either they were drawn really well and downscaled, so they were super detailed in the old one, but I don't remember them being, or they redrew them for this game, use use like new ones, and they look fantastic. <laughs> so it's almost it's like an odd mismatch, but whatever. Um, okay, after all that, I'm gonna save. Yeah, <laughs> that picture. Okay, down here, please pick the place to go. Attraction Square. <laughs> yeah. So, you can probably imagine what type of guy this man is. <laughs> Who cares about being a host? I'm the dark hero. I'm the perfect guy to play an evil hero. I bet my little bro will be surprised to learn that I'll be on the Evil Ranger show. Oh, I should take a prop home to give to him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here's your script. Oh, are you one of my fans? Can you wait till later to get an autograph? I I'm part of the cast. Hero number one. I'm pretty sure that's the voice of Ichigo from Bleach. Oh, so you're one of those guys who get beat up by the evil rangers, huh? You must be an aspiring actor who looks up to me. You want me to give you some acting lessons, right? Well, the monthly fee is... Hey, aren't you Axel? Huh? Weren't you a member of that idol group, Smarmy Army? Man, I, I haven't seen you in like 10 years. Look at you now. You've got a one-line part on this show, which is Kerpow. Don't you know, you're hero number two. I'm hero number two? <laughs> well, look at you now. Well, considering what you did on that one day, I'm really not surprised. Uh. <laughs> you caused so much damage to your sponsor's evil image, I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I think hero number two is the perfect way for you to make up for the biggest mistake in history. No! This must be some kind of mistake! Or, or... Maybe it's a trap set up by some other kingdom. Are you guys ready? We're starting the rehearsal. <laughs> Spies, you can't fool me. Try again in a million light years. Okay. So, Axel is very full of himself. Uh, and we got red, red Evil Ranger, yellow Evil Ranger, blue, pink, and black. We have all the people that you'd expect. And man, the UI is so massive in, in this game. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um... Okay. See, I'm getting confused because I'm using a PlayStation controller, but it's using Xbox, and I'm not sure why. So I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, couldn't find an answer in a very quick, rudimentary check. But, um, hopefully I'll be able to figure it out uh, soon. Because that's gonna... That's gonna mess with me. So I'm gonna... Over here... Use that. So, the reason I made a thief is because thieves are awesome and I never use them. Like, they have a near unblockable poison attack, um, which is extremely uh, useful, especially when you're. Oh, man, already? Yeah. Oh, killed his own guy. So. Uh, Let's do that. Awesome. Gonna move, actually. There. Oh, there. Okay. And turn. Okay. So that was... <laughs> I have already 
uh, succumb to one death, or one ally death. Now, so long as I don't lose the fight, it shouldn't matter, but Axel has a pretty good amount of counters, a uh, decent move, and I don't really have to worry about anything, especially on these first few levels. Um, but it's just a matter of uh, getting through them. Uh, especially because I really only have one character. But uh, I haven't really talked about me in this game. So this is uh, the first Disguise game that I think I honestly really, really liked. Um, it would, I'm pretty sure it was the first one I beat. Uh, because the first game's last boss was rather hard. Um, I do not want to skip the story. You see me now? I am best suited to play myself, the dark hero. Yep, I got it, hero number two. I mean, Mr. Axel. It's very dark hero of you to mistake me for a spy and to lay hands on me before asking any questions. <laughs> Telemarketers, man. Huh? I, I see. So it was a mistake this time. Anyway, don't worry about it. I don't mind taking over your part. And I don't mind giving up my role as Evil Pink for you, Mr. Axel. Meow. I, I don't know about that pink part. Say, my dark hero ness also appeals to monsters. Fine, you can be my sidekick. Yeah, got a sidekick. Okay, so let's heal. Man, I wonder what this person sells, or this person, or this person. Um, yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> I'm a cameraman, but I also know first aid. Okay. Um, okay. Squares X. Um, range manual. Let's look at uh, your equip. You don't have anything. Uh, your attack is decently high, honestly. But let's see if I can buy you a. Uh... Yeah. I get it. So this game's, uh, basically the skill and proficiency stuff hasn't switched over yet, because I think it switched in 3, where you got abilities and you had to, like, buy the skills and stuff like that. Um, so it's still, uh, more, um, It's, uh, it's more towards the first game than anything, which is good, because the first game was pretty swell. Although they did make enhancements and other things, which is useful. Okay, I don't really have all that much. Although I think you still need to be... It's still a bit annoying that you have to still... Uh, I think you have to pass like the, oh, I want shoes thing and all that stuff. Uh, over here in the, uh, man, my, my words just aren't working right now. In the Dark Assembly, that's the term for it. Okay. Yes. Traction Square, Practice Map. Uh, woohoo, I overslept again. Luckily for me, oversleeping is a good thing. An old celebrity told me that. What happened? Anybody? Green, you're always late. Mr. Axel is beaten up just about everyone already. 
Really? Then can I just go home now? Hey, bystanders, keep it down, will ya? Whoa! Now that's a big monster. What can I do? No matter which way I go, there's no escaping that. So Axel, please calm down, meow. He's a member of the Evil Rangers. In that case, I'll pretend to be his friend to get in close and then sucker punch him in the jaw. Aren't you listening? Oh well, it sucks for green, but Pink has decided to become Mr. Axel's sidekick. Don't worry, Mr. Axel, I know how to get rid of him in a flash. Ooh. Oh, okay. So this is tutorial stuff. Don't worry, I have a secret plan. I understand this game. Uh, and I behold my suit, my Ultra Super Galaxy plan at one punch will blast him away. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, this one, I believe, is just teaching you about the basic of um, magic change. I think that, yes. So it's going to tell you that, hey, this game introduced this, and it, you can only unlock it by doing Axo Mode, which means you would go through the entire base game without being able to do it until you do the secondary one, in which you might not actually want to do the secondary one. So, might as well do this first. That way, you never have to worry. Because... The thing is... Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna do that, and then... Okay. Gotta come over here. Um, attack and shrink. Only do one damage. Oh well. Please don't kill me. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Each time I do one, so rehearsal is just the base one where you can sort of grind, uh, and then meeting the fa and then the second one keeps changing. Um, so because you're not going to be repeating every single one. Now uh, I am really liking this. It's good to go back to the old, and <laughs> she's only level two because of the XP you get uh, from completing a level. And uh, I do find that. Uh, Axel himself as a character is rather cringy, uh, just because, um, mysterious button. Yes, I would like to push it. Uh, he's just cringy from the standpoint of, yes, mysterious button, I like to push it. So, if you get all the mysterious buttons, you can, uh, you're a good hunter, uh, you can unlock a special, uh, a special mode, essentially. Yeah, music shop. And that mode is a harder mode that allows you to grind a little bit easier, but it, it it's like, it's no jokes, it is hard. So, I'm just trying to get the buttons while I'm here. Because I might use, uh, I might grind, but I also might not because it is hard. I might not want to do that, but just checking anyway. So I think I only need one more button. Oh, okay. Oh, mysterious button. Yes. An eerie shadow looks upon. Yeah. So, uh, where is the eerie shadow? Ah, there it is. So if I go talk to her, I'm gonna get screwed. 
So, I'm not gonna do that yet. But now that it's unlocked, I'm gonna save. Um, okay, I think I can get through maybe one more fight. Let's do that. Okay, and now Geo Blocks. So, disperse damage, disperse damage, uh, disperse damage. So, this will change it to yellow, this will change it to blue, and this will change it to green. Um, but everything is dispersed, so what I'm going to do is just focus over here. Um, attack that. Bring felt over. Uh, attack that. And bring pink over. Let's see if it doesn't. Because disperse damage is nice because uh, everything. Well, I, I feel like it disperses it evenly, which allows you to kill other things. Uh, faster. Um, so, I'll do that. And... Over here, special... No. Bam. She just gave able to kill that all by herself. Now, I would buy her a gun or a bow, but right now I'm not feeling it. Because I don't want to waste my... Oh, please. Oh, damn it. You bastards. Okay. Well. Time to just... Come over here. Okay. And if I hit... Uh, part two, it will just end turn. So I gotta be careful of that. Star, wow. Alright, right now, Star Mages. Um, okay. Uh, come over here. Damn it. Bam. Disperse it and kill that bitch. Uh, come over here. And... <sighs> kill her. Bam. Okay, and turn. So, the thing about Disgaea 2 is that uh, in its original release, uh, it was on PS2. Then it was ported to uh, PSP and had DLC. Now, um, the DLC. Um, I'm looking at the ends, trying to figure out which one's supposed to be 36 and 35, 4, 5. So, the. Um, so it was released on PS2, then it was released on uh, PSP, and PSP had some DLC. And that DLC was uh, only, well, a couple of them were available in America. Others were only available in uh, Japan. And uh, this guy uh, on the PC uh, ported a lot of those as well, which is good. And I plan to use them, but I can't access them in Axo mode. So when Adele mode comes around, I will be using, uh, I will be using them. So, uh, let's look at Shocking Soul. Oh, that's a good one. And it's good because it's super AOE. That would have been useful to have, uh, the original time. Okay. So that's another map I could, can grind on. Which might be useful. Ooh, let's claim that. Uh, brawny muscle, HP 41, common orb, SP, and resist. Um, honestly, those would probably be both be good for Axel, as uh, actually not the glasses. 
because that's just hit. Oh, wait, I was talking about the Brian Muscle. I'm an idiot. Um, and Common Orb. Uh, Felt can get the glasses. Um, and what I will do is I will actually buy uh, a gun for her. Well, actually, let me look at the equip. So... Um... How do you... Status, I guess. No, nope. had to go status. So her bow is C, her gun is C. So I'm actually gonna get her a bow. Because bow, while guns generally have a longer range, bows uh, can hit more people around them. Uh, I guess I'll just go with this long bow. Um, actually, I want to try it. That way it just auto-equips. So basically, bows can are not uh, only unidirectional. Um, and Axo Mode uh, is rather short. It's only like four chapters. Um, and we're at the 33 minute mark, but I'm fine with this going above time because of the fact that... Uh, it's the first episode of this series. Oh, hey, where's Red? That's totally Laharl's voice. I wonder if Black is already on the set. Oh, hey, are you guys fans? Oh, man, you guys caught me already. It's so Mr. Axel of you to think that they're your fans. Meow. I can't betray their hopes. Hey, one sec, I'll be sure to treat you right. I need a PA. Hey, you! Hey, can you take these girls back to my dressing room? How can you act so cocky around here, hero number two? We can't rehearse because you scared all the evil rangers away. Plus, you convinced our idol, Evil Pink, to join you. Hey, hey, hey! Looks like you got it all wrong! I'm ready to take on the role of an Evil Ranger! Everyone, take him out! Yeah, so... This entire storyline is just funny as hell due to the fact... God, holy shit, the manager looks like a badass. What the fuck? Has 100% attack, has no mercy for a disrespectful audience. Holy shit. Um, and to point defense plus 50. And you can't get a Geo. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to... Oh shit, I never healed. I'm a dumb. Um, I can actually use an item. HP 50. Ah, uh, yes, and I can also... This is something they added, the cell phones for battle things. Ooh, I'm gonna save that. Uh, I'm gonna do that. And then that. Defend. And defend. See, the thing about uh, magic change is it only lasts like three turns. So, and then the character that magic changed doesn't come back. But, um, one of the DLC characters, Gig, who I really liked when he was in Disgaea 4, um, uh, can, I think he has, like, a skill to let him magic change for, like, more turns, um, which is awesome. I think it's, like, a maximum of, like, eight turns if you do it right. Um, or it's, like, if you he can match change for more turns, and then you can get certain uh, things on people's weapons, the innocence. Um, God, I feel like the match change sound effects is very loud. Um, okay. So, these guys really want the defense plus 50. Um, 
Um, I really do not want to let them have it. Because... Uh, I don't want them to have more advantages. And they have a bit of health. Um, so I'm going to come up here, defend, defend. Oh, so starting to move, which is good. Really please. Okay. And there's that. Okay. So. Let's... Oh, how many? It goes up two. Okay, so let's not waste that SP. Yeah, if I can conserve SP whenever possible, that will be best. And uh, I really do like this storyline just because uh, of how ridiculous it is. And because you don't know what Axel did until it's revealed. Because it's just like, you you did bad or something like that. You did the worst thing in history. And you're like, what did he do? So, I might actually have to grind for this chapter. But I'm not absolutely sure yet. It really depends on these guys. Because um, I do have quite a bit of health. And... I do shocking souls. Uh, but I remember this was one of the few storylines that I was like, this is actually pretty interesting in terms of like what's happening. Because I'm curious about it. Okay, so these guys they don't surround me, but they're doing a bit of damage to me. Should get these guys with the next. Well, I get him with a counter, but I'll get these guys Ooh. by striking soul. I'm not going to be able to. Hmm. Whatever. I'll just have to take out the last guy with only bear attacks. Kill them. Get a level. Move. He's already hurt, or no, he, uh, he's not hurt, but he is, uh, okay. God damn it, okay. That, that sound is a great sound for just, you can't do it, <laughs> stop trying. Um, uh, HP 22. I love how it, how it has intelligence and hit, like... What else? Um, okay. I'm gonna end turn there. Now, I really want this guy to come out of there. I mean, of course, I also get the plus 50 defense, but my defense is 42. His is 65. And plus 50, that's a bit. And he's using a spear. So, uh, I might actually do this. Come in here, defend, end turn, he'll attack me. Oh, he's using a skill. Was not expecting it. <laughs> okay. That was a weak ass skill. I'm glad you were very dumb. Uh do that. Punch you in the back. You counter. I counter your counter. You counter my counter my counter. I counter your counter your counter your counter. God, I freaking love that shit. It's just like, no, counter, 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 counter. Impaler. Um, get behind ya. Hit you from behind, because I'm getting a little bit bonus damage. Um, which I need. Oh my god, it's so nice. And every hit I also get a bonus um, gauge. 
but yeah, uh, this story, and I like how this is just a Dragon Ball Z reference. Special Beam Cannon, uh, Makin Kosopo, I think it's actually called. Uh, 3840. Uh, I'd rather just eat this and be safe. Move all the way over here. Well, actually, no. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Um, I should have stayed in the defense greatening thing because he will hit me and I can't counter. But it doesn't really matter now because I'm just gonna hit him. From... Actually, I'm smart. Maybe I can not hit him. Difference in height too much. My fist is. My fist cannot reach. Okay. Neither of us get the boost in defense, but luckily he'll die before I do on the counter, 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 counter. Okay, so that was just lucky enough. Okay. And I do not want to skip the story. Oh, crap! What did I do? I got lost in character and, and defeated the whole crew! Uh, you're fired! I can find a replacement for you anywhere! I'm... fired? No way! And replacement? That word is like a dagger right through my heart every time, man! Don't worry! No entertainer in the netherworld can match your style and flair. Okay. So, with that, I think I'll call this episode to a close. I'd say that was a pretty good first episode. Uh, I'm having fun with this, honestly. Uh, I'm glad I uh, decided to come do it. And yeah, uh, it's got a it's level 100, and you have to beat this to unlock the new mode, which is why a thief is rather important. Uh, many thieves is better, but uh, that's beside the point. Um, so I might grind a little bit, get the other people up to uh, up to snuff. I also want to figure out if I can uh, get the buttons to be correct, because uh, I kind of don't like having the Xbox controls when I'm using a PlayStation controller. Like I'm using an actual PS4 controller. Um, but it's being weird. So with that, I hope you all have a very nice day, and will join me in the next episode. Bye!